I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. We're out here in the blacksmith shop today. We're putting up the paneling and getting ready to have this building be ready for winter. And it's going to take quite a bit of work. Watch over the next few videos and you'll be able to see me building this building step by step as I go. As part of the blacksmith shop build, one of the things that I need to do is remove these 6x4, 12 foot long pieces of timber. They were used to move the little barn, which is sitting over there across the way. We bolted these to the sides and used that to hold it together while we pulled it around where it was supposed to be before we rebuilt it. Concept is, I'm going to cut each one of these 12 foot beams in half and end up with four timbers, six inches across. They're going to make the beginnings of a bench. This is going to make the bench top. The concept is to cut these 12 foot long beams into two 6 foot long beams, so I'll end up with four beams. I'll join those together after I plane them square and make a bench top so that I can use that bench top for woodworking in the basement workshop. To do that, <clears throat> I could use the power saw and set up the table saw and cut it or use the big radial arm saw and cut it, but that would be involving a lot of moving stuff around because we're really packed in. So instead I'm going to use this Distin D8. It's been sharpened, cuts really well. Now we're going to see how well I do on a big beam with it. Line up on the line, hold my thumb against the mark, bring the saw blade to the thumb, pull back just to break the edge. First cut's a guide cut across the beam so that I've got a line to work to. The saw will follow that cut. Now I'm going to check to make sure that the blade stays square by putting a square up against it. Now that I've got the teeth down below the surface, I can use the square as a guide. I'm cutting down the line on this side so that I've got a, a guide to make sure that I cut the, the line square. Checking the line on the other side. <laughs> Tracking perfectly. beam cut in half. Took less time than it would to get the extension cord out and bring the power saw over. Also I cut it in one pass so I don't have to cut this side and then that side and end up with two lines on it. Nice square cut on the end. Let's check it with a square. Can't see any daylight. Perfect. Now 
I can take this much shorter beam now and set it over against the wall and have it be out of the way while I do the construction on the other wall. And I've started my workbench. It's going to be a beauty. The thing you want on a workbench, especially for hand planing, is something that's really solid. I'll be able to mount my bench vise on the end of that, and I'll be able to plane on that bench without any problems at all. Even though it's made out of pine, it's 4 by 6s And it is treated lumber. Not everybody wants to use treated lumber, but it's what I have, so that's what I'm going to use. Thanks for watching.